Hello everyone, I am back again with some more articles. Y'all, I cannot sleep. All these spirits is coming to me to do their story, to do their oracles, and I just want to because this is what I love to do. Like, it's just something, it's like helping me take something off my spirit or something, okay? So, like I said, I'm reading this, or I'm reading the article off of Black, ourblackgirls.com, okay? We'll be talking about Ella Crawley, E L L A Crawley, C R A W L E Y. She is 50, unsolved North Carolina mother hunts family. Okay, I will be putting her picture in the description. The world was in the throes of the pandemic back in May, Frenny Frenny, but for one family, their concerns went beyond COVID 19. On May the 23rd of last year, 50-year-old Ella Crawley was found castily murdered in Winston Salem, Simon, North Carolina. I feel this is about my mother, but let's continue reading. A resident was reportedly walking along a path at Gateway Cummins Park when they found Ella, E-L-L-A, still alive but close to death. The following day, sadly, Ella Crawley succumbed to her injuries. Police later revealed that she has been beaten and strangled to death. She is here. I think that was actually her that said that. She's saying true now. Okay. She's saying they broke into her home. I was made aware of Ella's case after her sister Melissa, Melissa reached out in the hopes of spreading awareness about Ella's murder. Ella was reportedly, was reportedly homeless and struggled with mental illness. She's saying no, as she was diagnosed with psychophenia many years ago. At the time of her death, it has been stated that she was no longer taking her medication and while her loved ones encouraged her to seek professional help, Ella would, would return to the streets. She had frequented mental health facilities but will, will, will later be released of her own accord. Okay, this is how she looked it. She was in the hospital. Whoever done this, that they won't get any rest, that you won't be able to lay your head down at night, that you won't be able to sleep. Douglas Myers, Crawley's brother-in-law, told Fox 8 News back in May. She's saying she's confused. At the time, Melissa added, why would someone become that enraged if, if this little lady that you could visibly see was not okay? Um, also, I'm hearing she used to work for Caroline Bryant. So they talk, so this actually saying Caroline Bryant is the one with the mental illness. She's saying, yes, I'm seeing her nodding her head. Prior to seizing her medication, Douglas describes Ella Crawley as a functional member of society. He said she would attend their family functions and was a church goer. And while her relatives have sought answers regarding Ella's death, authorities haven't been able to give them the responses they hoped for. The longer that we are without information, that is going to lead us in the right direction. This case is growing colder, and we don't want it to lie dormant for any amount of time. We want to be able to follow up and investigate, said Assistant Chief Natasha Miles with the Winston Salmon Police Department. She's saying yes, Caroline Bryant. Kick over. Somebody heard something. Some. Somebody heard something, saw something somewhere, either in jail or somebody on the streets, said Lieutenant George Gregory Dawn earlier this year. Many agencies define a month of time period or so for a cold case. Technically, I guess if you look at it, we say yes, it's gone cold. But that doesn't mean we will close the cases or put them on the back burner. She said she Caroline Bryant home that she used to care give used to care for her in, okay? Another another yes, uh, there's a lot of people have been coming to me saying they was they, they was Caroline Bryant caregiver and they have seen her or they have seen the people that have been went that went missing and stuff like that. Like say he used to be a caregiver for her. Another of Ella's sister, Vanessa, told Yes Weekly in July, Frenny Frenny, 
I'm hearing Chastity Lewis in July printing, printing that although relatives have reached out to the authorities, they have struggled to receive a response. I called multiple times and nobody is calling me back. I feel upset about that because I don't want this trip under the rug. I want justice to be served. We need to find these people so that they won't harm nobody else. See? It could be some multiple people that have been got that have went gone from Caroline Bryan House. I'm here at Plantation, okay? They lose the care for her in. And also with Tay, he said when he went to the person that um he said when he went back to the person that hired him or whatever, she told him, I ain't hire you for her, okay? He she like she's not even in our system for you to care for her. Type shit, like what the fuck? Like, I don't know how they did that shit. And they were they were blue tape mind like what the fuck. Anyways, I feel upset about that because I don't want this rep under the rug. I want justice to be served. We need to find these people so that they won't harm nobody else. All of this is a lie. It's like the police are doing nothing. Melissa spoke with that publication as well and was flooded when she saw Ella's remains. A press release revealed that certain items of her clothes was missing. However, it fell short of confirming whether or not Ella Crawley was the victim of a sexual assault. She's saying yes. I saw her. I saw what she looked like afterwards. Somebody is sick. Somebody is really demented and deranged and they need to be off the streets. Plain and simple, she said. They are going to act again. It's going to happen again. I feel like what they have done to my sister, that is not something that you wake up and decide to do and don't do it again. If nothing else, I just want people not to forget that there is somebody out there that is not okay in the mind. I know I can't bring her back, but the community deserves to know. The killer has not been caught. Be careful. Don't be out alone. Don't be in that area by yourself. In researching this case, it has been made abundantly. She also said she she got she got trafficked, she got um kidnapped from the fake Egypt. In researching this case, it has been made abundantly clear that investigators have little to no information. Ella was reportedly found in the early morning hours when there was not much foot traffic, and because she did not keep close company with friends, they cannot. Finding people she may have had regular interaction with at the time has proven difficult. Additionally, Ella Crawley did not have a cell phone, nor was she on social media. So piercing together a timeline or paper trail is nearly impossible. Authorities are fully relying on the community to come together to help solve this case because like many other incidents such as these, someone somewhere knows something. In my correspondence with Melissa, I asked her if she would like to share something about her sister, who she was as a person aside from any of the issues she may have faced. This was her response in it entirely, slightly edited for clarity. This was what her sister has to say. Yes, I would like to add that my sister was a godly lady. She loved going to church and telling others about the Lord. She also enjoyed shopping, going out to eat, and spending time with family. Some of my fondest memories of her and I shopping in Winston Salmon, New, New Cal North Carolina. We would get lost in stores just shopping away. I was her hairdresser. She loved, she saying she got some of her hair. Her, I'm hearing her scalp. They do scalp people, okay? Um, you know, if they you got any in you and stuff. She loved for me to keep her hair up and I love doing it for her. My sister was diagnosed with a mental disorder up order at an early age and put on medication for it. She maintained on her own for years, living by herself, paying her bills, and just living a normal life. She would always say to me that I don't think I need this medicine, but I would encourage her to keep taking it to stay balanced, too, because I take medicine, too, and like, if I stop, like I get imbalanced like a motherfucker, okay? Eventually, she stopped taking her medication, therefore her mental health declined. She was admitted several times in North Carolina to the mental ward, only to be released because, as I was told, she was her own guardian. I tried to encourage her to take her medication, but she was so far gone, it was going to take more than just me asking her. She said that wasn't even her if you were telling me to take my medicine. So that means she must have been dead for a minute, y'all, okay? She's saying yes. 
Winston Simon police ended up arresting her several times, and you have thought, I'm hearing yes, that they would come out her bodysuit. We have thought that the condition mentally and physically she was in, they would have taken her to a hospital. Even going before a judge, which she had to do, it seems that if they would have court ordered her to undergo psychiatric evaluation. The fake court, okay? But no, they just released her back to wander around until eventually she was murdered brutally. I don't want my sister and what was done to her to be forgotten. Not to mention the killer is still out there free to do it again, okay? No, they are not. They are now the CCA. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Winston Salmon Police Department at 336 773 Crime Stoppers at 336-727-2800. And on Facebook at Crime Stoppers of Winston Salmon, Forsyth County, or their local authorities. I'm here they also probably thought she was a witch. They think all African Americans are witches. Please share this story about Ella Crowley to help bring justice to her case. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? Hope y'all enjoyed this article of Ella's Crowley. Um, like I said, I don't do this for the fame. I do this because it's what I love and I don't need no money, okay? But if y'all want to help with this case, just call them numbers that I said, okay? I'm out, peace. Contact the family. I'm out, peace.